Welcome back to my channel. So, I am here, and as you guys saw by the title and the thumbnail, I am going to be reviewing the Bloodless Palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't even put into words how excited I am for this. I am so unbelievably excited. Okay, I haven't looked at it yet. I've obviously seen pictures online, but I have not personally opened it. I took it out of the box, and this is all I've seen. I have not seen it yet, and I'm really, really excited. Okay, so, so I have... Full face, I got my brows on, I got the bronzer, I got the blush. I have not put on highlight yet because I don't know what's going to go with this. So, let's dig into this. First of all, let's start off with the packaging. The packaging is great. This is so cute. I love that it's like, it's just, the aesthetic is just gorgeous. So, we're going to dig into this right now. I can't wait anymore. Oh, ready? Oh, my gosh. So as you can see, it's in this box. It comes in this nice hexagon-shaped box, and it is a velvet palette. Look at the way it reflects the light. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's open it together. There's a nice little clasp right here. Woo! Wow. Comes with a nice gigantic mirror in here, which is really nice. But look how freaking beautiful this is. So we're going to slide this off. Look how nice that is. So this is the colors. And my grandma's vacuuming. It's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna get into this really quick. I'm gonna go tell my grandma to stop vacuuming so that you guys can hear me. Okay, so 10 out of 10 for packaging. I love it, it's such nice packaging. It's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but I mean, it's an eyeshadow palette, so what did I expect? But, I mean, it is bigger than my face, so I can't be mad. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this yet. I haven't even decided, but I love it already. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you guys go and click that subscribe button. I'm going to start posting more, guys. Like, I promise you, I will. I swear. I don't even know which colors to do. I'm going to swatch them all on my arm, and then I will show you guys. Okay. Got all the colors completely swatched on my arm. Every single one, all the way up to my arm. I wanted to put them all in the same arm. Just because I feel like it would be cuter, so. So I'm going to take some time to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. And then we will dig in to this Okay guys, so as you can see, I have it zoomed in on my face. I will zoom in more, but I am going to start with this eye, and I think I have something that might work on my eye. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to try to use as many colors on this eye as I possibly can, so that's the goal in this. So let's zoom in on my face and get this eyeshadow going.
So, okay, we're gonna do, what should I do in Mandurai? What should I do? What should I do? Should I do purple or should I do something random? Should I put Vile Serpent under my eye? Let's do it. That's that green color that you guys saw in the beginning. I'm gonna throw Vile Serpent under my eye. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm gonna use the, um, light purple, the deviant color that I used on my inner corner under the eye just to smoke it out a little bit more. So that is a finished eye. I'm gonna throw on some highlight in the corner and under my brow bone. This is the best tutorial you guys have ever seen, huh? It's going great. Actually, since it's right here, I'm gonna use the conspiracy palette and I'm just gonna throw the color Shade Ranch in my inner corner and under my brow bone as my highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on some mascara and a lash and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and this is the fully finished look. It took me like 25 minutes to put on the lash because I am so unbelievably shaky because I am starving that it took me so long. But now that I'm here and I've done one eye and I kind of like how this looks and it kind of gives me dragon vibes, I'm really tempted to just do a whole like dragon scale on the side of my face. Is that pushing it? It is nine o'clock. I haven't eaten. I'm about to go eat really quick, but I think I'm going to try. That's going to be interesting. I've never even tried that before. I'm going to go eat and then I will be right back to try and do dragon scales on my face. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is what we're working with. This is a mess. I am breaking out so bad. I hate winter. Anyway, this is what we're working with. I have this eye done. It's purple and green on the bottom. I have absolutely no clue how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and draw like scales on this side, but I don't know. So I'm thinking of putting like Executioner and like this color and a little bit of purple or something or gold or something on my other eye. But I don't really have a plan. So this could be bad. Maybe I should try drawing some scales first. We're gonna do that. So I'm gonna take an eyeliner pen and we're gonna try drawing some scales on my face. Figure out how it's gonna work because I've never done this before. <clears throat> So we're experiencing this together. We're gonna try doing this on my hand first. Okay, so I'm basically gonna be doing that. Yes, it's kind of messy, but I didn't know how big I wanted to do them, but I'm gonna be doing that on my face. And then I think I'm gonna throw some like colors in the inside to make it more like colorful, I guess. Okay, so it's been decided. I'm gonna do that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do green on the inside, purple on the outside, and maybe throw some glitter on my face. That probably will be a bad idea in the end, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's start drawing some scales on my face. There's no rhyme or reason decided yet, so we're just kinda gonna go with it and hope for the best. Really awkward position to be doing this. Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cover my whole face and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is what I've done so far. I'm gonna bring it more down on my face, but I'm gonna do my other eye really quick. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go for something really dark, I think. 
because I want this eye not to stand out. So I'm just gonna do some deviant on my whole lid. Okay, now that I have deviant on my whole lid, I think I'm gonna throw in Vile Serpent on my whole lid again. Also, you guys have said this in previous videos, but I'll say it again. I have a lazy eye, so if I close this eye all the way, I can't see what I'm doing. So I have to like keep my eye open and somehow do this and not fail. But also like if this isn't the most unorganized video I've ever done in my life because you literally can't see what I'm doing. I'm kind of loving it so far. So I'm going to throw some more of this color on my lower lash line. If you're wondering if I've ever figured out my plan as to what the heck I'm doing with this eye, I never did. I'm just kind of winging it and hoping for the best. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay, now I'm going to do something that could be slightly dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to add some black. This executioner color is actually kind of more like a glitter. I wish you could look at, see how it shines on the, oh my god. I'm gonna add that all over my lid just to like hide my eye. I'm getting glitter in my eyeball. Oh my god. Maybe this wasn't a good plan to put this on my eye considering I can't close my eye all the way. Okay, but it shines really nicely. That's kind of crazy. It's really dark and scary. Okay, well. Might as well throw it on my lower lash line too while I'm here, so we're gonna do that. I also just want to point out how unbelievably dangerous this color is for glitter on your face because it is everywhere. I wish you could see it. You definitely can't see that though. Okay, so now that there's glitter in my eyeball, I'm going to add a glitter on this eye, just the whole lid, just to give it some, some color. Really what's happening right now is you guys are experimenting with me. That's a lot of glitter, but that's fine because there's glitter all over my face already anyway. Now that we got that on, I'm gonna, I have a gold waterline pencil and I'm gonna run that under my waterline and then add some highlight in the inner corner and then throw a lash on and then just leave it and then finish off my face. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I threw gold in my waterline and I put on some highlight under my eyebrow and in the corner of my eye so I'm going to continue doing the scales. Still again, have no idea where these are going. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Also, my camera is close to dead. So I'm going to go ahead and do the scales and then show you guys where I'm at. And then I'll add some of the color and then I'll show you guys where I'm at and then I'll show you guys the finished product just because I don't want my camera to die on you guys. So I will be back when I finish the placing of the scales. All right guys, I'm back. I put all the scales on my face. It doesn't look as good as I wanted it to look, but it's really hard to do with an eyeliner pencil because you end up drawing all over yourself because you have to keep re-wetting the tip of the, the marker. Anyway, this is what we're working with right now. Not as good as I wanted it to be, but hopefully when I put in color, it looks better. I also brought the eyeshadow that was around my eye out farther so that my eye blended in with the scales more. I'm gonna go ahead and do like the forehead scales really quick. And then I will show you guys how that turned out, and then I will go do the rest of my face. Okay guys, I'm back, and I just realized I didn't have my ring on that entire time. So, it's back on. I've put green and purple on the whole forehead, and now I'm going to show you guys how I did that really quick before my camera dies again. So, what I was doing was I was taking a little bit of the um, Vile Serpent color, and I'm just throwing it in the scales. Just kind of placing it in there, I wasn't doing any rhyme or reason. I wanted this to be look messy because the whole scales in general looks messy. And I'm only dipping into the color every like three scales. Like I wasn't doing it every color. Or I wasn't doing it every scale, sorry. I don't know if it's just me, but it's giving me mermaid vibes really right now. It's not really giving me dragon vibes, but it's still cute either way. And obviously I'm not doing this well. So like all of these scales are just kind of randomly placed. I didn't place them in a certain shape. I didn't place them in a certain like size. I, well, there was nothing. I was just kind of going with it and whatever I ended up doing is what I did. So this is how I was placing all of these on there. Literally just with eyeshadow. I don't have any fancy like face paint brushes or face paint in general. So I like to use eyeshadow. And the only thing that sucks about that is that it dyes my face the next day have to wear makeup the next day whether I wanted to or not. As you can see, this is what I'm doing. I'm sitting there kind of just placing the green on. And then I'm taking this tiny, like, small pointy angled brush. And I'm just dipping into the Blood Queen color right here. And this one it was a little bit harder. So I was dipping in every single time. So I'm here and then I'm just kind of going on the edge of the scales. Sorry guys, I'll try to get closer. This is really hard. So I'm just kind of dipping in like this. Again, no rhyme or reason. Just throwing it on there. And where I'm putting it, I'm putting kind of like the lower, rounder part of the scale. I'm not putting it on the whole thing. 
It's supposed to be kind of like a shadow, kind of not. I didn't really have a reasoning for this, I just thought it looked cute. Okay guys, so that is exactly how I've been doing this. I haven't been doing anything fancy. As you can see, it's just on my face like that. So, I'm going to finish up the scales and then see what I can do after that. Might add some more on this side. Not sure yet, so I will let you guys know. Okay guys, so I finished the scales and now I've decided that I'm gonna add this gold. I did it on the bottom. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but it looks less flat because I put highlight right here on my face and if I put it everywhere I think it would be too much because I was thinking of like glittering the whole thing so I'm just gonna throw a little bit of gold on each scale not much I'm just like a touch I'm not even putting it on the whole thing just doing a little bit I think this looks way better it doesn't look as like crisp and clean however it doesn't look flat also I'm looking in the mirror the like big bathroom mirror that's behind us or behind me sorry or behind you guys. Oh my god, I can't even speak. So that's why this is like an awkward angle for me right now. Okay, so I added gold. I really like it, although I feel like this side of my face is really boring and flat. And I don't know if I want to like add a tiny bit just like here. Or if I want to leave it like this. What do you guys think? Should I leave it or should I add more? I think I'm gonna leave it. If I add more, you guys will see it in my Instagram pictures. My Instagram link will be down in the description. Um, I know this is a really, really bad tutorial. However, I've never done anything like this. So I'm glad you guys got to come along with me and watch my process. Um, sorry, I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. So I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this all the way through. This was a process. What a bloodless palette review man what what a review so my final thoughts on that is that it is a great palette the pigment is obviously wonderful you see i did a full face here i did a nice look over here on this eye i completely covered this eye it looks really nice so my final thoughts are a 10 out of 10 for sure love his palettes i guess if you guys watched my last video jeffrey sars uh his pigments are my favorite i love his formula thank you guys so so much for watching this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and then click the bell so you're notified when i upload new videos i'm still not on a schedule but i told you guys that i will post more often and i promise you that so Thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through. I love you guys.